When should I finish my webinar? So when should we finish delivering our webinar? Usually we advertise a start time and a finish time. And I do think that that's a great idea. Give your webinar participants how long, an idea of how long the webinar is going to go for. Don't leave them hanging. Don't expect them to register for a webinar if they don't know how long it's going to go for. It's disrespectful. They need to be able to plan their lives. So let your webinar participants know how long the webinar is going to go for and stick to it. Now, what do I mean by stick to it? Well, I mean start right on time. In previous videos I've produced, you'll see that I recommend you arrive really early for a webinar for a variety of really compelling reasons, but start your content on time and similarly, finish your content on time. Now, this is where we need a little bit of degree of flexibility. If you're producing a webinar for educational and just training purposes and people are part of a course, then start on time and finish on time. But you do have some flexibility if people have extra questions to go a little bit longer. I don't have a problem with that, but it will get some people offside, especially if there's no recording, if you go beyond your designated finish time. However, if people have questions and they want to keep asking questions, I, I think that's fine to keep going a little bit longer, okay? Because you're helping people. It's not part of the webinar. You're basically providing extra information and extra support. Now, especially if it's the case where you're actually pr promoting a product. If you're promoting a product, then I change these rules a little bit. You should be finished all your training content before that designated finish time. And in fact, I would recommend you plan to promote your product and explain to people what the product is before that designated finish time as well. So if you promote a webinar as being one hour, then maybe deliver 40 minutes of content and good training content that people will find very valuable and be able to use. And then maybe an additional 20 minutes for introducing your product and starting to answer some questions. But beyond that, if people choose to continue watching that webinar, they're now going to be learning about your product more so than the initial training that you advertised. I see no reason why you can't keep answering questions and keep going on and on and on and on and answer as many questions as you want to. In fact, if I was promoting a product, I'd be inclined to be I make myself available to keep answering questions until people are all gone and all done and all finished with their questions. People will appreciate that and after all, if people are still there and still watching and still asking questions, obviously they're still interested in your product. So you may find it worthwhile from a financial perspective, in addition to just helping people, to just stay on and keep helping people until there's no one left. I've got no problem with that. But that designated finish time, you must be finished all of your training content and ideally if you're promoting a product at the end, I'd have done the promotion for that product and explain what the product is by that finish time as well so that people don't feel that you're taking advantage of their time by making them wait beyond that finish time to find out the details of what the webinar was all about. That's my view. I'd love your feedback about this. I don't, I don't pretend to be the guru of everything and the expert of all things webinar. So if you have some questions or comments about this, please pop down below in the YouTube comments and ask as many questions and give me your advice. What have you found works well for you? What do you think is fair for you and your participants? He's sweeping the floor now. Whoa! If you are a webinar presenter or a live streaming professional, there's a podcast for you. I am thrilled to be the host of the Webinar Skills Podcast. We've had terrific guests on the program, people like Donna Kozik, John Lee Dumas, Ciprian Salerio, Rick Mulready, Karen Yankovic, John Schumacher, Roger Corville, Omar Zenholm, Amy Schmidhauer, Nicole Boldenu, a fantastic list of presenters all coming on the podcast to help you become your best with webinars. Please join us. The link is down below. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I'm looking forward to reading your comments in the YouTube comments below. Please subscribe as well to the YouTube channel and have 
an awesome day. Let's talk about webinar engagement and why Jerry Seinfeld gets it. <laughs>